sweet Christmas. It's time to talk about Luke Cage. Not only just talk about him, but break down his fighting style and teach you guys how you could be just like him in real life. Well, I mean, mostly just like him minus the, you know, bulletproof skin. Now, that's full transparency, I didn't plan to do this video initially when I was scheduling uh, what I was going to do throughout the year. But since Juneteenth comes on Wednesday this year, today, I couldn't miss out on the opportunity to talk about one of my favorite black superheroes and honestly one of my favorite black superhero shows, Luke Cage. And so in this series, we are going to be talking about Luke Cage and like I said, breaking down his fighting style so that you could learn it at home. And it's actually surprisingly easy. If you notice, this isn't that long of a video for that reason. So yeah, it is what it is. However, if you want me to do all of the other uh, defenders like Iron Fist or Daredevil or even Punisher, let me know and I'll make that the series that we're adding in. Along with Hint Hint Street Fighter, but run that intro. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing Avery does in a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Now we are again going and talking about the fighting style of Luke Cage, but let's talk a little bit about who Luke Cage is. Luke grew up in Harlem, New York and has plenty of experience on the streets fighting in gangs and other various situations that he found himself in. Many of that not being his fault, like, you know, the heroin that was planted on him that got him in, thrown in prison, which is where he did even more uh, fights <laughs> that he got into just because, you know, it is what it is. It's the life he lived. But then he got uh, caught up in an experiment that gave him some incredible abilities. Basically, it was yet another experiment trying to recreate Captain America's super soldier who would have thought pretty much everything is just a recreation of that. Hulk is a recreation of that. Wolverine is a recreation of that. It's crazy how many things are, but this is yet another one. And this one ended up giving Luke Cage amazing strength and imp impenetrable skin. And so eventually after not being in prison anymore and, and you know, dealing with the fact that he had drugs planted on him, uh, he became a hero for hire, getting that bag and saving lives all at the same time often working with Iron Fist or just as a member of the Defenders. Now, as far as his combat skills goes, most of it comes from two places, which honestly, we're only even gonna focus on one of them. The first being his street, you know, his years on the streets, growing up fighting for, you know, every day just for life in is definitely going to give him some experience but he also was a boxer going in the gym learning different boxing combinations which gives him his majority of fighting strategy now he does oftentimes do some other kicks and throws but they're not like judo throws or taekwondo kicks they're very like basic they just use his brute strength to kick people flying or throw people through the windows. It's great and it works for him, but it's not necessarily a martial art, so to speak. It's more just using that muscle to, uh, you know, throw people around, which I am totally for, but you know, I can't really do that. So if we're gonna be able to do that, the first thing we need to do is hit the gym. Strength is incredibly important in his fighting style. And so we're gonna have to get swole. You're gonna hit your gym, you're gonna go lift weights and become basically the best strong man ever. You still won't be able to touch Luke Cage in real life, but you'll get close. And as far as the combat style, we are gonna focus on boxing. Boxing is an amazing martial art and sport fighting uh, combat style that focuses on hands and nothing but hands. Doing all kinds of punches from jabs to cross hooks, uppercuts, all kinds of things, and mixing in good footwork and head movement so that you can, you know, lay out whoever it is that you're fighting. I mean, there's a reason that boxing has lasted since like the original Olympics. There's a reason that exists. And so it's the no brainer that we're gonna spend plenty of time boxing. And to get some durability, we can even spec a little bit into Muay Thai. Those guys are incredible at uh, conditioning their body to be able to withstand. Those are the kind of guys you see literally kick through bats. And so we're gonna do that just for the conditioning of our bones so we don't, you know, break under the pressure of our punches. Now for the tutorial today, it's going to be a little bit different. It's gonna call, fix a problem that I see so many people have. And that's a lot of people just don't know how to punch correctly. They're gonna break their hands. Um, it's actually surprisingly easy to break your hand if you're not sure about 
what you're gonna do. And so I just wanna cover basics of punching and give you guys a couple punches to get started uh, so you can practice right now in your backyard or in your living room or wherever. So to punch, we're gonna have to understand how to make a fist. Now other instructors may teach different ways, but the best way that I've found to show you how to make a fist, and again, I've been doing this for 22 years as of May, we're gonna be curling our thumbs, our fingers under just like so, making them as tight as we can without it being uncomfortable. We don't want it to be uh, like whole tension. We just want it to be comfortably tight with our thumbs coming on top just like so. It's very important that no thumb sticks out. If your thumb sticks out, that is a good way to get it broken um, when you impact things. And so you don't want it to stick out at all. You want it to be completely flush. And when you punch, you're actually not gonna hit with a flat fist or with the bottom. You wanna hit with the front two knuckles. Those are gonna be your strongest points in your fist. And if you do it correctly, you can put a lot of power generated into those two knuckles to deal a lot of damage to whoever it is that you're needing to, you know, throw down with. Let me tell you, Luke Cage finds plenty of people to throw hands with. And so now that we understand how to make a fist and where to target for our punches, Let's talk a little bit about a simple combination. We're gonna talk about jab, crosses, and hooks. Now this is gonna be very, very beginner friendly, very medial. So if you are like a champion boxer watching this, don't kill me. I'm just trying to get some of the basics so that, basic, so that people can understand online how to throw three simple punches, a jab, a cross, and a hook. All of these things are gonna be based on your stance. So for right now, I'm gonna put my left hand or left foot in front, and that will be my jab ham for this video because I have more space to punch this way than that way. It's just, it is what it is. Um, but again, your jab is your front hand. So if you fight with your right hand or right leg in front, the right hand will be the jab. But for right now, again, left hand's the jab. We're gonna take our fist, just like before. We're going to twist our hip as we push that fist forward. Push that fist forward, just like so. This is our jab. Again, it's designed for speed, getting out and back quickly. You don't wanna wind back and put it, you just wanna push straight forward. One of my favorite martial arts, martial artists talks about how not winding up can save incredible, can shave incredible time off of your punches. And so if you wanna punch fast, bang, just push with it. The second punch you're gonna go over today is a cross. Now that we've, it pairs really well with our jab because it uses the back hand. We've just set up with our front hand. Now we're going to twist our hips, pivoting on our toes and pushing with our right hand, with our back hand. So we now have our jab and our cross. And again, if you notice, as I do this, I'm not only rotating, but I'm keeping my hands up as I punch. One hand goes out, the other stays up. One hand pulls back, the other stays up, right? I'm always keeping my guard up at all times. So we have our jab and our cross, and now we're gonna take our last one and do our hook. Again, there, this is a very remedial way to understand the mechanics. This is not a refined version. If you want me to do a refined version, let me know. But what you're going to do is you're going to elbow out, just for now, and you're going to rotate your hip. You don't wanna swing wide. This is not a good hip hook. You wanna avoid this wide, wild swing because it's really easy to see it coming. It's really easy to stop. And if you catch someone at the wrong time, it can very da much damage your elbow. And so keeping your elbow bent, you're rotating with your hip and driving in with your fist just like so. So you have one, your jab, two, your cross, elbow out, keeping that bent just like so, and rotating in for your hook. All the way through, you have one, two, three, just like so. One, two, three. And that's really, it's a, a really simple version of a jab cross hook. You can get really in depth if you wanted to. Ooh. Sorry. But <laughs> you can get really in depth if you wanted to. But I'm not going to do that today for the sake of time. 
However, if you want me to do a more in-depth version of how to punch, I've actually done that already. So you could watch the older ones if you want to, or if you want me to watch it to make a new one, just let me know. You know, you know how it works in the comments. I, I love reading y'all's comments, so talk to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, happy Juneteenth for everyone watching. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out. Before I let you go, I want to take this time to thank my first ch channel member, Raisin Linger. And if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm incredibly sorry. I'm also sorry it took me this long to uh, realize that uh, I could announce you and figure out how to get <laughs> what your name was. The, uh, the, the algorithm, not the algorithm, but the systems on my end didn't notify me correctly because I guess I didn't have notifications on for the right thing. But I want to thank you very much for supporting me and supporting the channel. And if anyone else wants to be a part of all the announcements that's will, that will be added into every video at the end of every video, then definitely become a member. But again, thanks for watching. It's you. Yo, man, PLO style was my joy back in the day. Sweet Christmas. <laughs> be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pen Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to